An opposing view to the EPA recommendation on the future of the old FMC site in Bannock County. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackinson. Cap it or clean it. That's the core of the debate on the cleanup of the FMC site west of Pocatello. The EPA is recommending capping the hazardous materials. We told you about that last night. If you want to watch that story, head to our website at kpvi.com. Tonight we turn our focus to those who are upset by that, by that idea. They believe this method poses a risk to the nearby Portniff River. Nearly all of the plant is located on the Fort Hall Indian Reservation, and officials with the EPA have been meeting with tribal members all day. Phil Campbell's been following this story for us. He has more now from the Tribal Council Chambers in Fort Hall. Well, a large crowd showed up this morning here in Fort Hall for the informational meeting and open house, and even more are anticipated when the public hearing starts in just 10 minutes. FMC and the Shoshone Bannock tribes have a history that dates back to the 1940s. In fact, up until 1993, the FMC plant was receiving ore from the Gay Mine, which is located east of the Fort Hall town site. Evidence of this can still be seen as travelers on Interstate 15 pass under the old rail spur that serviced the mine for so many years. Today, the two entities continue to have a working relationship, and both FMC and the tribes would benefit from redeveloping the assets that remain on their reservation. But first, the area must be cleaned up. The Eastern Mashad Flat Superfund site once housed the world's largest elemental phosphate production facility. This plant closed in 2001, and many of the hazards still remain there today. The EPA is suggesting capping the problem areas. They believe the topsoil caps would prevent radiation emissions and shield buried material from wildlife and humans. The EPA believes this is the best option right now because it's dangerous to remove buried elemental phosphorus as it is toxic and has a tendency to spontaneously combust. The tribes who have been misquoted by other media outlets issued the following in regards to the cleanup alternatives. We are urging a closer look at elemental phosphorus removal and treatment efforts at other sites. Elemental phosphorus can be removed safely and FMC has 50 years of expertise to do it. Initiate a pilot removal and treatment project at the most contaminated area of the site where the old furnace building was located. Should removal and treatment prove feasible, clean up the old furnace building area and proceed with capping the remaining site. Specifically, the tribes are not advocating for excavation and removal of all contaminated soil at the FMC site. Another set of meetings is scheduled for tomorrow in the Chubbuck City Council Chambers. Reporting from Fort Hall, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. Now tonight's meeting in Fort Hall runs until 9 o'clock. The public meetings in Chubbuck are scheduled to start at 5 o'clock tomorrow evening.